Hi, my name is Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of every element you see inside of iron 3 carbonate. In order to do so, we're going to first find the mass, and then we'll find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write the elements we see in the compound. So we see iron, we see carbon, and we see oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. So here iron, we have two irons, so therefore we have two well, irons. Uh, carbon, there's a one a subscript, and we take that number. Anytime you have uh, atoms inside of parentheses here, you take the subscript and multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total number of atoms of that particular element. So there's three carbon, and then oxygen, same thing, three times three, there's going to be nine oxygens. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So there's the mass of iron, 55.85, carbon is 12.01, oxygen is 16. So let's write them in. 55. 0.85 for iron, carbon is going to be 12.01, and oxygen was 16. Then we're simply going to take those values here and multiply them across to find the total mass of that particular element. So for iron, it's about 170. Uh, the total mass of carbon here is going to be about three, uh, 300, what? 36.03. Yeah, 300. And then for oxygen, it's just 9 times 16, which should work out to be about 144. All right. To then find the total mass of the entire compound, all you have to simply do now is add up this particular column. And when you do that, we find a total mass here of 291.73. So that was the first step of the process, right? To find that total mass. Now that we found the total mass, all we're simply going to do is we're going to add a column to this table, and the rest is cake. Bam. So now to find the mass percent of, let's say, iron, we're going to simply take the total mass of that iron, 100 and 11.70, divided them by the total mass of the entire compound, 291.73. If you're wondering what the units are, it actually doesn't matter because the units will cancel themselves, all right? So it could be gram per mole or amu, it doesn't really make a difference, but this is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100, all right? When we calculate that percent, it should work out to be about 38, 38.29%. And that's the percent of iron. Next thing we're going to do for our carbon, so this is going to be 36, 36.03, total mass of that carbon, divided by the total mass of the compound, 291.73, hence why we had to find the total mass first. And that percentage is going to be roughly about 12.35%. And then last but not least, right, we're going to do oxygen here. So that's total mass of 144, forget about the zeros, 291.73, times that bad boy by 100, and we're going to get a percentage of roughly 49, 49.36, 0.36%. .36%, all right? Just to check yourself, you can add those two together. Well, two, there's three. Add those three together. Well, if you add the two together, you won't get 100. But if you add the three together, you should get 100, all right? Wouldn't that be a nice grade to get on your next test? Well, you can easily get it by checking out some of our videos. We have thousands and thousands of videos out there. Different topics also, not only in chemistry and organic chemistry, but we also have physics. We also have mathematics. We also have, coming soon, biology, some statistics. We'd love to help you out with more stuff. We really do hope you enjoy these videos. Take care.